Hey everyone, welcome to my lair. I am Onyxica, you can call me Oni if you'd like to. This video is something I do pretty much every week that I play WoW. And essentially it's just me opening my vault and sharing what choices I make. And not only that, but I'd actually like to experiment with the way I've been doing these videos in the past. And that is after sharing what I have in my vault for my character, my in-game character. I'd like to do something a little bit more wholesome, I suppose. And share something that's been rewarding in my real life as well. And then invite you to share about your wins from last week. So we can just make this a little bit more engaging for everyone. Alright, let's get started. If you're new here, I started season 3 as an augmentation evoker. And hopefully you'll see me playing my actual main, which is my rusher druid, eventually once I get enough energy to play both characters. But for so far, it's just me on this evoker and I have a lot of videos here on this channel sharing my progress, learning the spec, learning the dungeons, the raid bosses. It's a work in progress. What I'd like to start with is by taking a look at the gear that my character is currently wearing and try to manifest something in the vault. For example, these bracers here, I'm still wearing 460 and the, um, the item level track for, for the crests is champion, so I won't be able to upgrade the, these bracers very high. So I would like to have something, you know, a little bit higher so I don't have to worry about bracers for the rest of the season. <laughs> That'd be nice. Another thing that I need to replace, which is kind of a low item level, is my 450 Dreambound Loop. That's from the Dream Surge, I believe. But the reason why I'm wearing this ring over something else, for example, the Haste Verse Hero Track ring, is simply because the Haste Mastery is far more superior for augmentation. And if you're not aware, usually jewelry, like rings, it's worth sacrificing some item level over the right stats. So that's why I chose this. I still haven't catalyzed my headpiece because I wanted to wait until the vault day today. So maybe I could catalyze something else, but Either way, I have a force set, so if anything is to be replaced in my force set, it would have to be maybe the the chest piece and the gloves. I'm wearing the tier, the tier pants as a placeholder because I would rather craft some pants instead and then complete the force set by catalyzing my headpiece. I would like some trinkets, maybe a 489 weapon is always good, and maybe Nimue's trinket because it will replace a champion level trinket and I would love that extra mastery on use effect. All right, so let's just open the vault and see what we get. So let's start from the top left. We've got ourselves a tier headset from the Heroic Raid. And although I did intend on getting a tier helmet, this isn't gonna be the one. I would rather keep my my own helmet because it has a socket and it's still on the hero track so I won't be losing any item level if I keep my own helmet. So it doesn't seem like I'm going to be picking the helmet from the, the vault. Next up we have a waist which is a crit high haste hero track. It is potentially higher item level than my belt but I will be losing the mastery so that is not an ideal thing to do. Let's see what else we have. We have a hero track tier shoulders. I will definitely pass up on that because I already have myth track shoulders tiered. But I've heard some things about the caged har trinket and it makes me a little more apprehensive about picking it because although it has a nice amount of mastery on it and it's uh, it's an equip effect, not an on use. I've heard that the shadow damage blast it does, it can get really buggy. Some people have reported it pulling through walls and things like that and pulling mobs that you uh, never intended to pull so i would rather not mess around with that even though it is it is a decent looking trinket 
from a damage perspective, but I, I will pass. And then we have some myth level wrists with low crit, higher mastery. I believe that is already looking like a great replacement. I have the same stats on my own bracers, so it seems like it would be an ideal replacement. And finally, we have a back piece on the myth track, which has some crit and some haste. And although my cloak is on the champion level, uh, I do want to hang on to as much mastery as possible. Probably look at these two for now. I'll try to keep it nice and sweet with my actual process of simming. I, I've done a strange video <laughs> the past week showcasing how I sim Augmentation Evoker because we don't really have a very reliable way to optimize our gear on raid bots and so I use something called Ask Mr. Robot. I'm just grateful for the makers of this tool to allow Augmentation Evoker to be included. So what I'll be doing here is since I have the Ask Mr. Robot add-on install, it's giving me a script and I will be importing them. You can scroll down. We have a lot, of, we have some tools here, but because this is a Great Vault video, I will be choosing the Great Vault option here. I want to select Aspects Crest 489. Make sure that's the one selected because potentially whatever is in the vault is going to be upgraded. So we want to include that and then we will click on find upgrades. So I suspected that the trinket will be recommended, but because of the possible buggy interactions, I probably will say no to it. And uh, it looks like the wrists is the second in line for the best upgrade, especially if you upgrade it to 489. The the cloak is a, uh, a decent upgrade as well. I don't think I want to pick up the waist. I could definitely get something better than that. But it seems like I will pick the wrists because I don't have any alternative wrists to choose from. Whereas I do have a 470 cloak in my bags if I want some haste and crit. I will be choosing my wrists, my new bracers for my evoker. So I will select this and say goodbye to the rest. And what key did we get? That is a Dawn of the Infinite Rise uh, 22. I'm not really a fan of that key. Uh, it, although it is fun, it is tyrannical. So that's great. I have new bracers and I'll go ahead and purchase a bracer enchant. The avoidance is the one that I go for. So now that that is out of the way, I promise that I have a little bit of a story time, some rewarding experiences from last week in the real world. And uh, as I said, you are more than welcome to share about your wins. My channel isn't just about gaming or World of Warcraft. It is also about prioritizing your vitality and making your environment a better place to, to thrive in. So let's just share some stuff. One of the biggest wins from last week was being able to get AOTC and that means to kill Farak, the blazing in the new raid and it ended up being with a pug because I don't have a guild to kill Farak, heroic Farak. Pugs are prone to be full of toxicity which can inhibit your progress in the game. They can be super vile. Not to mention this pug didn't have any discord. We didn't, we, we just went in there and did our best and we got the kill. And I was the designated lust giver. So I, that felt a little bit special, not gonna lie. And other than that, another win for me, myself, not just Augsterian here, my evoker, is that yesterday I, I had my I exam finally because I've been waiting for years and finally that yesterday was the day where my insurance approved for me to get a, an eye exam and turns out that my eyesight has deteriorated significantly so at least I've, I've gotten that taken care of and I did end up ordering a new pair of glasses waiting a few weeks for that that might improve my my experience in the game because I do have a lot of visual impairment when it comes to the gaming and I enjoy playing on a competitive level and it's just super frustrating having to deal with eyesight problems so um 
I knew I needed to get new glasses, but then there's just an insurance thing. So I consider that a huge, huge win. Health and everything like that is super important to me. So yeah, to go ahead and share what you have accomplished last week regardless of what you have in your vault let's try to focus on like the positive things because i'm someone who has the propensity to focus on the negatives and we all know that is not very healthy that is the mind's way to protect you because survival we we want to remember the things that are not safe for us and things like that but let's try to at least have some more gratitude in our lives and that is going to be the moral of every week when it comes to rewards like the great fall and stuff like that but i don't want it just to be about gaming i want it to be something that we can all relate to so with that said thank you very much for sharing this moment with me and please have a wonderful week no matter what you get done this week i hope you make it a great one i'll see you in the next one